This is the Super 8 Hotel where Knoxville police say they asked Alvis Sayi if he was staying there alone Sunday afternoon. They were looking for a 13-year-old girl who had been missing for nearly 40 hours. The officer reported Sayi answered yes, he was alone. But the criminal complaint shows right after the officer left, a witness watched Sayi and the 13-year-old leave the hotel together. In this case, the suspect lives in North Dakota and the victim lives here in Knoxville. Court documents show Carlisle police stopped Sayi with the 13-year-old in his car. Police said the 20-year-old from Fargo admitted to officers the two had sex. The victim's mother showed officers text messages between the two where Sayi suggested they have sex. People have to understand people lie on the internet. Just because the person on the other side says they're a 15-year-old boy doesn't mean they're not a 65-year-old boy. Knoxville Police Chief Dan Lasada said what happened here should be a reminder to parents. Kids can be targeted on social media or in chat rooms. I also strongly suggest you take control of their media devices at night. There's no reason for a child to have a cell phone in bed with them. Lasada advises parents to regularly communicate with their kids and keep their phone with you instead of in their bedroom. If it rings at 2 o'clock in the morning, take a look at it. See who's trying to communicate with them. Is it just a friend that's having a bad time or is it someone trying to do something inappropriate with your child?